what earnings are we going to be looking out for next week? What economic data? And there's a doozy on Thursday that we need to discuss. How about McDonald's with a negative pre-announcement? They are going through restructuring and layoffs. Realtor.com thinks we're going to have the average 30-year mortgage rate at 7.1% in 2023. Folks, let's get into it. Let's start with the earnings next week. We get some earnings on Monday. Uh, Jeffrey's Financial. I think Jeffrey's Financial is going to be interesting because it could shed highlights on what the big banks might do later in the week. Uh, again, we get a lot of big banks on Friday. I think Jeffrey's Financial is a taste of what is to come. Tuesday, we get Albertsons. What is going on at the grocery store? Do we still have inflation? Are they having to discount? Wednesday, we get KB Homes. This one's important. You know, we've talked about Toll Brothers and Lennar. KB Homes, that is the starter home. What's going on with KB Homes is going to be very, very interesting to watch. And then on Friday, we get Wells Fargo, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan, BlackRock. What is going on? Do they Are they reserving for bad debt? Are they seeing delinquencies rise? Are they seeing deposits fall? What is going on at the big banks? We are going to want to know. How about economic data for the week? Again, lots of stuff coming, Thursday being the big day. Monday, we get inflation expectations. Are inflation expectations continuing to come in or have they reversed? We get Jerome Powell speaking on Tuesday. Must watch TV. Is he going to talk tough? Is it going to be a hawk? Thursday, <coughs> excuse me, we get CPI. CPI expectations is 6.6%. That's a big number. Are we going to come in lower and continue the trend? Will it disappoint to the high side? Going to be important. We also have James Bullard speaking, who is known to be a hawk. And then Friday, what is going on with consumer sentiment? On top of all that, we got a ne another negative pre-announcement. Not only did McDonald's come out, but we also had Macy's saying the holiday quarter sales disappointed as their shoppers were squeezed by inflation. Redfin CEO predicts a terrible consolidation in the real estate sector. He says it will be good long term, but we are suffering through the roommate generation. Something to think about there. Las Vegas builders logged a net net sale of only 313 homes. Folks, new home sales contracts minus cancellations in the great city of Las Vegas, they only did, only did 313 sales. This is why you are seeing Las Vegas luxury builders discount, discount, discount. I think it's time for all of us to admit that the odds of a soft landing are increasing. I do not think they are the base case. I do not think they are probable, probable, but Hey, I think we've gone from two or 3% probably to 15%, uh, which is a step in the right direction. We have realtor.com again, calling 7.1 realtor.com is talking about lessons from the seventies and early eighties. Uh, they did an article talking about home prices may retain value longer than people expect. Folks, do yourself a favor. If you want to look up a fancy economic term that really talks about home prices, it's price inelasticity. Price elasticity, right? How sticky or how stubborn are prices? Rolex watches, not price, uh, or are, is price elastic. Demand drops, prices crash. Houses? Not the same thing. So a lot of stuff going on. So again, that is my wrap up for Saturday, December 7th. Like, subscribe, comment, be part of, become part of one rental at a time. I hope you have an amazing day. Take care. Bye-bye.